Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And today I've got another demo for you for one of our database templates. So I'm here over on the MicrosoftAccessExpert.com website. And I'm scrolling down here on the left side and looking for the database templates for purchase. Click on that. And we are looking for the employee training test tracking database today. So I'll go ahead and click on that link. You do get a couple of options for purchase up here at the top. You can either purchase an internal use version, which allows you to use this uh, database template within your organization. You can also purchase an unlimited developer use, which allows you to include this database template in any of the applications you develop and distribute. Or there is a compiled runtime version that does not include the code, but will allow you to get all the features that are available within this database template. What we're going to look at is below that section is an ability to download the demo. I'm going to right click and say save link as. We'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. And our demo is downloaded, so I'll go ahead and close this window. Here's our zip file on our desktop, so I'll right-click that and say Extract All. And we'll go ahead and say Extract, and that will extract the zip file to our desktop. And it'll open a folder for us with the demo shown in that folder. So we'll go ahead and double-click on the demo. You may get a Microsoft Access Security Notice. I'm not going to cover on how to deal with that in this video, but I will put a link to a video that shows you how to deal with trusted locations errors in the description below. For right now, we'll just go ahead and click Open. You will get a notice when you open up this demo that this is a demo version of the database software and that it is fully functional, but if you try to save information in the database, close the database, and then reopen the database, that information will not be stored. You'll have to purchase a full version of the database to actually have information stored within the database template. There's also a couple of quick links to get to our website to email us, to contact us via Messenger or Skype, or our online chat, or a contact us form if you prefer. So we'll go ahead and close out of that window. And we'll look at some of our setup forms here. We've got two setup forms that I want to show you today. The maintenance form and lookups, which we'll go ahead and click on that button. And we've got a couple of tabs here we can look at. We'll look at the departments to start with. And this gives you the ability to add departments or modify the names of departments that are associated with each employee. We also have an employees table, which allows you to enter their name, their code and a department for them. There's also the ability to view and set up tests. We'll come back to that later. And then whether that employee is actually viewable on the calendar view. We have also have locations here. So this could be various locations for tests or training if you want to track that. We also have the tests and training uh, lookup form which we can enter in the individual tests or training that our employees are going to take. So we'll come back to the employees and view uh, setup and tests, which is a quick way for you to add in a testing location, a test, a date that the, te that the test or training was passed, and the date that that training or uh, test was expires. You can also enter in a couple of notes. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. We'll come back to our lookup maintenance form and we'll go ahead and close out of that. The next maintenance form we'll look at is the calendar setup which allows us to set the first day of the week. We can select either Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Uh, we also have a week type which is this is how the calendar will appear. We can show the work week. We can show a full week. We have the ability to set the default print type, which is either portrait or landscape. We have the ability to print the detail information on any of our records, whether we print the color associated with our individual employees and show the location in the day and week view for our tests or training. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and add a test training entry. So we'll come into our test training Entry form, we'll select an employee, we'll say person one, we'll select which test they're taking, we'll say they're taking test one, and we'll say that they're taking it at location two. And now we can enter whether they pass that, and we'll say that they passed it on the first of this month, and we'll say that this is only good for a month, and we'll call this monthly training for safety. 
and we'll go ahead and click save and close. Now we have the ability to look up the entries that we have put into the system by either using a search schedule, which we can bring up here, and we'll go ahead and look at the options we have here. We can select the test type, the location, the start date, end date, the employees. Uh, we can also clear the form. We can run a search. We can export the search results to Excel, uh, Outlook Calendar, Outlook Task print a detail or print a summary. We've also got some options here to view in calendar form or to view in appointment form. So a couple of different ways to view your reports. So we'll go ahead and run a search and we'll see that that first entry that I made for test one, location two, person one with the uh, past date of the first and the expires date of the 31st is right there. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And we'll go over into the calendar view so we can see what that looks like. And we've got a couple of options here to view the calendar in day, week, bi-weekly, or month. We can filter by department. We can also filter by employee. We can look at uh, the date that was passed or the date that the uh, testing or training expires. We have the ability to print. And we can view in standard view or expanded view. And what I'm going to do here is click on month. And what we'll see here is that test that we entered is right here. So we can double click on that. It'll show us in the week view. We can also make uh, uh, a printed version by selecting the print button here. You'll see it, it just prints that one day. So we could have a schedule for everybody that was going to take a test on that particular day or have uh, tests that expire or training that expires on that particular day. So go ahead and close out of that and close out of that form. And we also have the ability to export and import this data. And we can select a person, we can export to Outlook, we can export as a calendar or a task item for Outlook. We also have the ability to import as well. You can import from Outlook, you just have to select the correct file. And that pretty much sums up the employee training test tracking database. Please feel free to give us a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with our latest demos and new products. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can join us on our Google Plus uh, account. You can also contact us for development for current database development or new database development if you would like to use one of our database templates or need help implementing them, please feel free to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.